Yeah. Elements of a novel. What are the various elements? What are the various things that a novel is based on or uh, it contains? Okay. The first one is the theme. Theme is the central idea in the novel, which can be expressed in a nutshell. It is a central idea. It is the base of the novel. Okay. Iske upar ye novel based hai. Ye story ke upar ye novel based hai. It's a philosophical statement or a truth which the writer has put forth through the narration of the series of events in the story. It is a truth which the writer has placed with a series of events. This happened, this happened, this happened. So from event number one, two and three, we can conclude that the uh, message sent has been well received by the audience or the readers and characters acting in a particular setting. Next is the plot. Plot is essentially, so here, what is the theme? Theme is the central idea of the poem, uh, of the text, sorry. Plot. Plot is essentially the story or the course of events that make up the theme. The story, the main storyline is the plot. story it would be more appropriate to say that this movie is plot. Hai. Okay? It is created by the conflict, either internal, that is inside the mind of the character, or external, with other characters. Yeah, to my struggle with myself or it can be my struggle with my friends, my relatives or any other character in the novel. Plot may be simple. That is one plot only story about me and two, three supporting characters. That's it. Or complex consisting of interviewing of many subplots. There is one story which is mine, one story which is someone else's, someone else's, someone else's. And the entire novel is stitched together. It is stuck together because of this commonality. Okay. Characters, the people who are there in this novel. Characterization is relating, uh, sorry, related to the plot as the course of events take place because of certain behavior of characters. The events that take place, the things that happen because of certain things uh, that are done or said or played by the characters. Depiction of character can range from a thumbnail sketch to deep, wordy, Highly detailed verbal sketch. See, depiction of a character. Details of a character. If I'm the, if I'm playing one of the characters, it can be just one person who is an English teacher, or it can be every possible detail about my physical features, about uh, my nature, about the way I talk, about the things that I do, and as detailed as possible can be the maximum, or as limited as possible an English teacher. That's it. Okay. The important character may have been uh, may have been described in every aspect by the writer. Now, see, it can be a mix also. Important characters ka detail diya hua hai, and less important characters are explained in a nutshell, in very short. The minor characters are not given much importance, not required, so only in a nutshell, only highlights. The reader follows the action of one main character throughout the novel. The main character of the novel, see. Whenever you have one character who is the hero, you can call it the hero. In our Hindi movie Bollywood setup, we call him the hero. You can call him the protagonist. Protagonist is the lead on whom the story is based. Protagonist, that is the main character, is in conflict with a character or an entity or a force, which is known as antagonist. Now, uh, the hero is in conflict with something or someone. If it is something, it can be some feeling that is troubling him. If it is someone, it can be some person who is his enemy. You can call him to be the villain. In the Bollywood setting of this, you can call the antagonist as the villain. Setting. Setting is the background. See, okay. So, uh, plot we understood character. Course of event that takes place is because of the character's ka behavior. Okay. Can be short or detailed or both. As I told you, important ones can be detailed. Uh, less important ones can be short or it can be both come and jada all all together setting setting is the background in which the story takes place like for example uh, in our Hindi movies you may have seen that it is a love story but a love story that is set up in the year 1942 or 1947 or uh, in 2400 2300 in the future so it is the basic setting, the background. Okay, background mein ye ho hai. Like say for example, India and Pakistan are at war. 
and then there is a love story so the background is the setting okay setting is the ba uh, background in which the story takes place there are several aspects of the setting it includes place period time climate or weather and lifestyle plot and character and two major elements are affected due to setting see the background affects two main things first the conflict that is the struggle between the protagonist and antagonist or the protagonist with himself internal second the language or the style uh, you may have seen it in bollywood movies also the uh, way of talking changes the way of dressing changes the speed of people changes if it is backdated if it is say 1940 1960 1975 something like that okay the language and the techniques used by the author for narration of the uh, course of events is known as the style the way he is narrating it is the style of it okay reading it will make you realize or make you feel ki ha ye to 1960s mein hota hoga where people were uh, waiting for the landline phone to ring so you are immediately taken to that age because today you have no landline phones to be seen okay an author can be uh, sorry can use extensive vocabulary and high phrases uh, or he may be laconic and would write only to the point he can be uh, someone like shashi tharur wanting to use a lot of vocabulary and words that you will not understand or he can he can just be to the point you know not wanting a very heavy literature to be used he may use linguistic devices to make the narrative effective he may use linguistic devices like a different kind of figures of speech that we've studied all these factors decide the texture of narration texture so reading the first three four pages you will realize that this is a very serious narration or uh, this is uh, going to be a humorous one you can think uh, that the writer is very uh, serious as a person or the plot is very serious or it is going to be a funny story okay so that is what shows the texture the way the script has been um, uh, like you know stitched together all right so these are the various elements first the theme the central idea which can be expressed in a nutshell ki kaun se basis pe ye uh, story likha hua hai what is the main line of the story second the plot story or the course of events that make up the theme jo main story of the event third the characters people who are playing uh, various people in the novel can be in short can be in detail can be both setting the background what is happening what is currently happening conflict it may be between the protagonist that is a hero and the antagonist that is a villain or the protagonist ka personal struggle or something like that and the last one is the language yeah the language or the style the way it is narrated the technique used for writing it can be extensive vocabulary or uh, it can be to the point and a very simple way of writing all right now we are coming to the various types of novels see here a good chapter because uh, this is something that you would not generally come against You know what are the various types of novels? In fact, I did not know four or five of these because there was the day where that we don't really think what are the kind of novels. We just like a particular style, and that is what we continue following. All right. So let's see types of novel. 